I started a play back in 2004 and set it aside, put it in a box, and reopened it in 2012 on the 75th anniversary of this event in New London, Texas. I was driven because I'm sad that the event has sort of been left out of history books. Nobody seems to know about it. I have read so many of the stories, so many of the tragic stories out of this disaster that I felt like it was the perfect sort of pathos for theater, uh, getting at the heart of people's emotions and, and um, there's just stories a person couldn't even create. They were so ironic and so tragic and so bewildering that it was all the stuff of a great novel or the great play. We're sort of living at such a, a time of converging tragedies all around us. You don't have to look very far and there's a tragedy every day it seems. And um, maybe it mirrors what's going on in today's society. So there's 1937 to today, um, there's, there's, a, there's a parallel there that I think I wanted to explore. So for the last three months, we've been working on Nothing Natural, about a disaster in New London, Texas, and um, it's been really hard being playwright and director because you do a lot of things as a playwright that you kick yourself for as a director. Like, why did I write that scene that needed 8,000 props? Um, but as a playwright, I was just telling the story. I didn't make up the story. All I did was arrange the events and I took some artistic license to fill in the holes and to keep the story going. But really, I'm just telling the story that unfolded. I'm not really writing it, per se. I'm just telling it. I think for those that love history and that don't know about this, it reminds us to take pause and say, what else don't I know that happened in history? How else am I unaware of people's suffering and people's, people's tragedies that happened? And, and why do they escape American history books? Is it not politically correct? Is it, um, do we not want American society to appear flawed in some way? Why do some of these things escape the textbooks? One of the things about the story that compels me is the, the people involved were, there was a work ethic in the 30s that we don't have today. The oil field workers that became such an integral part of the story worked for 48 hours straight with no food, just a little water passed to them. The rate at which things were cleaned up, restored, tried to put back to normal was done in record speed. Lawsuits were closed in record speed. Um, there was this sense of right and wrong that was so clear then that we muddy up today with lawsuits and legal, legal trappings and and red tape that, that for whatever reason just didn't happen then. And I think between the work ethic and the lightning speed with which it was important for them to move forward, um, it showed the character of the people. And in those 72 hours following the event, um, the most heart-wrenching stories came out of that. And I just don't think that you would have had those stories if you didn't have such character and work ethic in those folks. That's something that I miss about modern society. Um, the work ethic isn't what it used to be. They say that generation was the greatest generation in America because of their work ethic, their service, their sacrifice. And I think you see that in this play.